In this video we're going to look at how to solve trigonometric equations by transforming the range or transferring, um, transforming the interval. So the reason this is going to be useful is because in this equation we're not given sine theta or sine x or sine y or whatever, we're given sine of a multiple of that, so sine of 3 theta. Um, so the way I'm going to deal with this is I'm going to use a substitution, so I'm going to say um, let x equal 3 theta. So I'm now going to solve sine of x equals root 3 over 2. And um, this is something that I'm familiar with doing from, um, from the work we've done already. So uh, I'm going to have to transfer this interval because this interval is in terms of um, theta and I want it in terms of x. So x is 3 theta so I need to multiply all of this by 3 so I get 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 540 so if I can find my solutions for x within this range I can then use this um, substitution to then work out my values for theta so I'm going to do arc sine of root 3 over 2 which is going to give me my first solution for x so I'm going to um, just make sure I've got this in degrees and then I'm going to do arc sine of uh, root 3 over 2 and that gives me 60 degrees so um, then I'm going to use an angle diagram here so I will mark on which quadrants are positive or which ratios are positive and which quadrants so 60 degrees is here and I'm looking at sine so where else is sine positive well over here so that will be a 60 degree angle there as well and I'm looking between 0 and 540 so my solutions for x well my first one is 60 so starting at 0 going round second solution is over here so that's 60 before 180 so it's 120 I keep going round keep going round those solutions here this is 360 one full revolution so this one is 60 past that so 360 plus 60 is 420 keep going another solution here well um, if I'm going to just mark on that this is also 540 if I do a revolution and a half so 60 before that is 480 and my next solution is well past two revolutions so I over 720 so um, so I've got my four solutions for x but x is equal to 3 theta so therefore um, theta is equal to x over 3 so theta would be 20 40 uh, 140 and um, then 160 so I've divided each of these by 3 in order to get me my solution for theta and we can see they do fit within the original interval that we were given now we can take exactly the same approach when we have um, something like this say 2 theta plus 1 as an interval so I'm going to use the substitution x equals 2 theta plus 1 so my range, so double add 1, so that gives me 1, that will just become x. So 2 lots of 2 theta is 4 theta plus 1, gives me 4 theta plus 1. Um, and then I'm going to solve for x, so cosine of x equals a quarter. Um, so r cos of a quarter, and I'm going to have to put this back into radians and um, so our cos of a quarter gives me uh, 1.32 and I'm just going to store that so I can use it later if I need to and then I'm going to look at a diagram So 1.32, which side of this line is it? Well, if that's pi, this is pi by 2. Pi by 2 is about 3.5 something. Sorry, pi is about 3.14. So 
uh, pi by 2 is about 3.55, something like that. So um, this is very definitely in the first quadrant. So where else is cosine positive? Well, down here. So we've got a 1.32 angle here. So let's look at my range. So my range starts at 1. Now my first solution is 1.32. So, um, so that's fine. That is a solution within the interval. And I want to go all the way around to 4 pi plus 1, um, which is actually quite handy because 4 pi is two complete revolutions. And then plus 1 is not quite enough for another solution here. So um, let's have a look. So we had 1.32. And then around here is, well, that would be 2 pi. So this is uh, 2 pi subtract 1.32. This is then going to be 2 pi plus 1.32 all the way around again, that's 4 pi, so this is then 4 pi subtract 1.32 as we said here would be 4 pi plus 1.32 but that's outside of the interval so um, that's are going to be our solutions for x so what about our solutions for theta, well if we look at our substitution x is 2 theta and plus 1 so therefore theta is x minus 1 over 2 Um, but rather than actually work out these values and then use that substitution, I'm going to do it all in one go because um, then I'm not going to lose any accuracy with the rounding I did. So we're saying that, uh, well, we put the angle in A, so the first one is that, um, subtract 1 divided by 2, it gives me 0 0.159. So the next one is uh, 2, right, so this is going to be 2 pi minus what was stored in memory A, subtract 1 over 2, gives me 1.98. So then I've got 2 pi plus 1.32. So I've got 2 pi plus what was stored in memory A, then subtract 1 and then divide it all by 2. Oop. gives me 3.30 and then my final one here was uh, 4 pi subtract the angle uh, then subtract 1 divide it all by 2 gives me 5.12 and then I look um, all of these are within the range 0 to 2 pi and I found all my solutions